What is up guys, it's Sky, and today I have the definitive settings for a piloting video. Well, I'd say these are my preferences and I'm just going to tell you why I have it set that way. I'm going to start off with controls. Now if you're on console, you're going veteran vehicle buttons and default sticks. That takes the throttle off the, the, off of the left analog stick puts it on your triggers and that way you can use your rudders without having interference from your throttle inputs. With default sticks you're gonna have roll and pitch on the right analog stick and that's the way to go because with roll movements generally you only need really subtle movements. Sometimes you're gonna want to try to get a max roll max pitch maneuver but it's impossible to do on a controller but if you set a high sensitivity you can get close and if you're on console you're kind of stuck with this setup there's nothing you can do because you have to map two movement controls to one analog stick and it's what it is now they did add the ability to remap your buttons on console so you can go to a custom button custom button layout and then you go into your key bindings. On PC it's key bindings. I'm sure on console well, I haven't been on console in a while but you can go to playing controls and remap the buttons to any way you see fit. They added that I think in the main patch so if you missed it then go ahead and go ahead and uh, go into options and tweak it to your liking. So I already covered sensitivity in the last video, so check that out. Um, wow, raw mouse input. Uh, I'm gonna go to gameplay now, and I'm gonna show you the mini map settings that I changed. I maxed out flight zoom radius. That's important to be able to get the most amount of information on the mini map that you can. And increase the size of my mini map to 125%. The default 100% I think is way too small. And I had 150 before and I felt that was way too big. So 125. Go to advanced controls or advanced gameplay options and turn it off parachute auto deploy for those instances where you want to deploy. You want to be able to control your parachute because a lot of times if you parachute right away, your tailing pilot can just kill you. And then, lately I've turned this plane chase camera roll off. I used to prefer it on, but I turned it off through the advice of a lot of other pro pilots and just kind of stuck with it. Let's go to video. You want to max out your third person vehicle field of view. I can't really operate at a lower field of view because you need to be able to see your opponent any chance you can get. So definitely max that out. Uh, I have my graphic settings lower to high. I, I get too many frame rate dips on ultra settings. And I have DX12 off because I get a lot of graphical glitches if I enable DX12. So going to key bindings, the one I guess that is the most impactful in the plane I have my throttle up set to right mouse button and that is the button that I have my afterburner bound to in previous BF games uh, in the fire plane I don't think the throttle really does anything in the attack plane it does do something so keep that in mind throttle down and set the space bar that's where I've always had my brick in past BF games I got my pitch, my pitch settings bound to S and W. So basically here, well it says pitch down, but I pitch up. I press S to pitch up. I think it has something to do with uh, I think it has something to do with the uh, reverse uh, invert invert flight. So I have these set to off. So 
Consequently, for me to pitch up, I press W. And then pitch down, I press S. Okay, so this is correct. I, I use W to pitch up. I use S to pitch down. I free look bound to left shift. And that was really important. I originally had it bound to alt, but at the, when I when I had it that way, I couldn't free look and hit the brakes at the same time. Now I can. Uh, I took exit vehicle off of the E key, I think, because I accidentally bailed sometimes. Uh, the other significant change, full map bound the tab, just because the M key is too far away. Uh, and then the the zoom view is bound to left control. And then I have the toggle zoom view feature so that I just have to press it to zoom the camera in. I don't have to hold it. And it's kind of a kind of an ancillary feature like you only use it sometimes and it's not really critical to dog fighting so having a control is good. And then your gadget one bound to alt. So that's your flares, emergency repair, self repair bound to X. That way I can pretty much use my I think I use my index finger to self repair because you can't really maneuver while you're self repairing but it's really nice to be able to use the brakes and use the rear view while you're self repairing another thing that's different for me I have the spot function bound to a, a thumb button on my mouse I also have the chase camera bound to a thumb button on my mouse and basically, all these settings are so that I don't have to take my fingers off the movement keys to access essential functions like braking or using the rear view. So keep that in mind. I also definitely want pitch up bound to the keyboard. Again, I can pitch up without it affecting any of my other essential movements like the yaw. And also I can pitch up while I'm hitting the brakes or using the rear view. So that's pretty much the reason that I set my keybinds the way I set them. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later.